Watch this video to learn how to play High Hopes from Chord Time Piano Hits Level 2B Book. The practice plan for this song will include a practice of 5 to 10 minutes a day. You will watch a section on this video and then you will go practice it until you have mastery. After that, you will come back to this video to watch the next section. The first part you're going to master is the introduction, then you will master section 1, then section 2, then section 1 and 2 together, then section 3, then section 4, then section three and four together. At that point, you will be able to watch the video at the very end, which goes over structure overview and begin to master the song as a whole. Here are the mastery checkpoints to make sure you are meeting as you get ready to move past each section. Are you playing the correct notes, the correct rhythms, the correct dynamics, the correct phrasing? Are you at the correct tempo? Great, let's jump in to learn this song. So we're going to start by looking at the introduction. So the introduction comprises the first four measures, one, two, three, and four. Um, this part right here is actually considered part of section one, so it's going to be just the first two beats of the fourth measure. As we look at this, we notice that there is a B flat in the key signature. When we have a B flat, we know that we are in the key of F, and I also see that the bottom note right there is F, so that sounds about right. Knowing that, I can tell that this is a four chord in F, and I need to remember that that is B flat right there. So this is a four chord, this is a one chord, and this is a D minor chord because I am moving down to D, and then I am stationing myself on C. So looking at just the right hand for the intro section, this is F, B flat, D to start. That's my four chord, and my one chord will look at this. The next chord I need to find will be two notes lower, and then I'll go to just to C and E. So without the rhythm ready, I know I'm going from a four chord to a one chord to a D minor chord to a C and E. Can you do that with me? Here we go. This is a four chord and a one chord and a D minor chord and a C and an E. Now let's add the rhythm to it. Here's how it sounds. Ta, ti, ti, ta, 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 ti, ti, ta, 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 ti, ti, ta, 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 ta. I'll slow it down a little bit and have you join me. One, two, ready, go. 
If you want to practice the right hand a little bit more, you can go ahead and pause the video. We're gonna take a look at what the left hand does now. The left hand is going to be based with a second finger on B flat. This is middle C here, so we are an octave lower. So I start with that B flat, and then I'm going to move to F, and notice B flat is the fourth note in the F scale, so it's going to match what's happening in the right hand. Moving down to the F, and then to the D minor, and then I'm going to A, and that's because with the C knee up here, we're making an A minor chord all together. So the rhythm starting with it goes ta, 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 ta. If you want to practice that more, you absolutely can. Feel free to pause the video to do that. I'm going to put both hands together now. So we're starting with a four chord in the right hand and a B flat in the left hand. We're going to do it nice and slow. One, two, ready, go. Ta, ti, ti, ta, ta, ta. Now you know everything that you need to know to begin your practice for the introduction. We're going to move on to the first section of High Hopes now. So this is starting with these three notes at the end of measure four, and we're going in from there. So um, looking at this, this is an F. So our third finger is going to be on F, and we go F, G, F. And then we're going to play a fifth three times. G, F, F, D. So looking at that on the piano, that looks like this. F, G, F, fifth, three times. G, F, F, D. Let's try it together. Ready, go. F, G, F, three fifths here. G, F, F, D. Adding in the left hand for this part, it's going to be F and B flat when you play these three fifths. Then you play G, F, and it comes to A and F. So you're going to be moving your thumb from here to here and putting your second finger where your thumb was. Do you wanna practice that? And then move. Let's combine both hands. One, two, three. If you want to practice that bit more, you can. I'm going to move on to the next phrase. So next, my second finger moves to A. So right now my fifth finger's on A, my second finger is going to move there. And I'm going to play four eighth notes here. Now, four on C, one on F. C, D, A, G. Now my third finger comes to G. Let's try that again. So the beginning of this phrase, we go two to A. There's four notes here. So T, 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 thumb goes out to F, C, D, A, G. Third finger moves here. Good. Looking at what happens in the left hand, our left hand was just here for its last note, and the thumb's going to stay there, and we're going to play our fourth finger on D. And we do that after the four eighth notes. So it's four eighth notes. And then when we play this note, that goes down. And it stays down while all these play. And then here it goes to C. Let's try combining that.
Okay, if you need to pause that and do it again, you can. I'm going to move on to the next phrase. So after you finish that, you're going to move your fifth finger to a B flat right here. And we are going to play T, T, Ta. Sorry for the slip there. Then we're going to move our thumb out to D. And we go A, G, A, G, G, F, F, D. Try playing the left hand part with me. It starts with a five on B flat. One, two. T, T, Ta, Ta, T, 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 T. The left hand has just had a five on C. And the next thing it's going to do is move to B flat with the pinky and it's going to play F with its first finger. So this is what you did at the first part of the section and then it's going to repeat and go to A and F just like it did before. So combining it, it sounds like this. First you have the T, T, Ta, then they go together. Let's try it together. One, two. Together. Good. Now let's combine all three phrases that we played. So we're starting with the last three notes of measure four. One, two, three. out to A, two goes to A here, third finger to G, five on B flat, go back to beginning with your left hand, stretch for the A, good. Now we're going to finish out the last phrase of the first section. So our third finger is going to come to F, so it's just one move. Here our thumb moves out to C. Try that part with me, right hand only. One, two. Fifth. Stretch out for the C. Looking at what the left hand does there, we're going to start here. So we've just been here and our pinky's gonna come up to D and our third finger's going to go to F. And then we're right where we need to do be to play our one and four together. So combining both hands right there, it should sound like this. Do it with me. One, two. end of section one so you know everything you need to know now to master section one. next we're going to take a look at section two section two starts at the top of the second page the end of the first line which is measure 12 it's the last three notes in measure 12 and I have good news about section two it is exactly the same as the first section except for the rhythm of the A's at the very end so you should be ready to play this with me so I'm going to have you join me one two Is we're section going to take a look at section three. In section three, we're moving on to the next part of the song. So the whole sound of the song changes here. And our right hand is going to start up on treble C. So this is middle C right here, and I'm up a little bit from it. And my left hand is going to start on F major with a four chord. So it goes like this, C, C, F, and then we play four, one, so those being the numbers of the chord, a fourth chord and a root chord. So try that with me. C, C, F. 
good. Now let's look at the timing. So it's one and two, three, four, one. Now it goes F up here. So one, two, three, four, D, C. You might want to circle all those Fs if it's hard to see all of them. So one, two, three, four, D, C. Let's try that whole first line together. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. Good. Looking at the next line, we stay here with our right hand. Our left hand moves so that the fifth finger is on D. And we go one, two, three, four, down to C. And it's the same at the end there. Let's try the second line together. One, two, ready, go. One and two and three, four. One and two and three and four. Good, we're going to try both the first and the second line together. One, two, ready, go. If you would like to pause the video and work on just that part, please do. I'm going to move on to the next and last part of the section. So now my fourth finger is going to come to B flat and my left hand is going to come back to where it was at the beginning of the section. So this part goes T T ta, T T ta. Try that part. And actually the left hand is supposed to be short. I held it down longer than it's supposed to be. So it's T T ta. T, T, ta. Then you play a one chord and you're still on B flat here. T, 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 Then it goes to A and C. Let's try that part together. I'm going to slow it down a little bit because I know we're playing more than one line. One, two, ready, go. T, T, ta. That was the first ending and if you would like to practice this please practice it with the first ending first because you are going to be doing the repeat sign um, because everybody recognizes the song with the repeat sign and then when you're ready come back and we're going to try playing all the way through this section to the first ending and then taking it back to the repeat and um, ending it the second time. The only difference with the second time is there's not going to be two of these at the end. The last two notes of this page are actually part of the final section. So here we go, all the way through the section. One, two, ready, go. section. This section sometimes takes some extra work, so do not be discouraged if you weren't able to follow all the way through yet. Break it apart into two sections, the first two lines, the last two lines, and keep practicing it until you have We're it now there. Now going to look at the last section, and the last section starts with the last two notes of the third page, and you'll notice that these notes are also piano, so it gets very quiet here. This last page also has all pedal. We haven't talked about any pedal in the song yet. There's just a little bit of pedal on the first page that we'll address when we get to the end. Um, but we're going to play the pedal when we play this page because it makes the sound for this page. So looking at the first line, we start on the right hand with this. A, B flat, C, and A. 
Then we go A, C, C sharp, A. So you'll notice there's a finger change. My second finger is going up here. And then it's one, one, five, five, four, one, two, one. The left hand is going a normal F chord. Then the thumb is coming up to C sharp. And then we come up to D. And then we go to these two black keys here. We're going to try it hands together, nice and slow, and we're going to add the pedal in next time. So don't worry about the pedal yet. So we're piano. T, T, T. Good, let's throw the pedal in. So it does not start with pedal. I will tell you when to put it down, which is on the third note. Here we go. One, two, three. Up, down. Up, down. Up, down. Good. Now your right hand's going to go back. And obviously, if you need to pause and practice that, you can. Your right hand's going to go back, and we're going to start the same thing. end the section just with this and that is where we go back to the beginning and play the first two pages again just minus the intro so all I want to do now is look at the structure dynamics and the pedaling for the song if you're looking at high hopes I have photocopied mine because I like to lay all the pages out so I don't have to flip pages that is definitely something that I would recommend for you to do as well the way the structure of the song works you play the introduction you start section one, you play all the way through, you play all the way through section two. Then you play section three to the first ending and repeat section three. The second time you're gonna skip that first ending and go straight to the second ending. Then you play section four here. You get all the way to the ending and it tells you to go D, S to this signe a fine. So that signe is right here. So when you come back, you're not going to play these first four measures. You're going to start here. And then you play all through the first page and the second page again. Now looking at dynamics, we start out forte and it's forte here. It doesn't change. So this is all forte. You can see there's a pedal right here and a pedal right here that helps give a little bit of emphasis to the song. When we come to this next section, we have mezzo forte. So we're going to take it down a little bit. You can see that there are some accent marks where it's going to be a little bit louder. There is no pedal in this section. And then we suddenly drop to piano right here. There's a little crescendo here, a little diminuendo right there, and that repeats here. And then we suddenly go to forte when we get ready to end it, and it's forte all the way to the end. So now you know everything you need to know to master high hopes. Great work so far on this song. Now stick with it until you have mastery of the song as a whole.